What's up? Ugh, I need to click in the window again. What's up, guys? This is Miss Pop Tarted. Welcome to episode 4 of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Last time we got over here, I know I'm not in the place I was, I just went back to save. Um, and we found this little fin, or I don't know what it's called, but we can jump on it or hit it with a hammer, it doesn't matter. Bloop, bloop! Ouch, that hurt. I'm not gonna read the bloops, because that's all he says, pretty much. And, uh, here's a mini boss fight. Who just up and whacks someone tootsies like that? Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? Some saucy mustache guy. He's in a world of hurt. Okay, let's go. We'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trapple. Hey, Mario. Oh my god, I had to pause recording. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're back. Hey, Mario, you remember what Pros Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Yes, I know. Oh, man, this. Okay, first thing you're going to, do, going to want to do is use a Fire Flower that you got before. It's actually really useful in this fight. It makes sure both the other tentacles are gone, and it also um, pretty much paralyzes bloop, blooper, over there. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, fuck. <laughs> and that was his turn right there, so you don't have to worry. Hold on, I'll reply to that in a second. Oh, that's how you do the size. You do it right before she leaps off the ground. And see, he didn't even attack at all, so... That's pretty cool. Blah, bloop! Okay... Okay. And we go down this pipe, and we go to... Pelberg Meadow, or whatever. <laughs> Hold on, be right back. Okay, we're back. My cursor's in there. <laughs> okay. Chapter one. Castle and dragon. Pretty okay first chapter. I know why it's first. Hmm. Okay, we come out here. Well, here we are. The Petal, the petal Meadows, where folks say Crystal Star hides. Woohoo, here we go, Mario, the star of your, our adventure. This is completely awesome. Okay, I'm gonna stop stop reading the text, or at least all of it. I'll calm, I'll read it in my mind, so you guys have enough time to read it. But, um, oh, star piece. And a mushroom, I think, so over here. Yep. Um, so you guys have enough, like, time to read it. And if I see anything funny or interesting, I'll comment on it. And I know I just got another Steam message. Probably should have hold off reto recording till till I stop talking to her, but whatever. And Mario's sort of like, what the hell's that big shadow? Whoa, what was that? Oh shit, I'm not supposed to read this. Look at what. That is the most ridiculous looking dragon I have ever seen. And he goes in that castle in the background. Hmm. It does look pretty peaceful. It doesn't look like it's a bad dragon. Or not even on it. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's in here? Huh. Sounds sort of messed up. I saw something. No, nothing in that tree. Okay, hold on guys, I'm gonna have to, like, save and then restart the emulator. <laughs> Music is sort of glitching out right now. Um, 
what time we at? Five minutes. Okay, that sounds about okay. Okay, be right back, guys. Okay, we're back. See, music's better. I don't think there's anything in this. There might be. No. Um, I know there's a badge here, and then fuck. Oh, that was a bad, bad, bad move on my part. I'm sorry. Let's just defend with her. Yep, see, it didn't even take any damage for it, though. Because I am a boss. I'm just kidding. Um, some badges actually have their own stylish moves. Like, um... That was strange. Um, but... What the heck am I trying to say right now? Oh, yeah. Like, um... The Power Smash badge we got from Professor Frankly, it actually can do three backflips and then a, like, a... sort of raising hands thing like the regular hammer can do. So, that's pretty cool. Um, we can go back and... No, this actually goes up here, which we can't access yet. So, that's sort of annoying. I'm glad I got a first strike on this, or else we wouldn't have been able to take these guys out in one turn. Oh well. Oh, one more thing. Try not to read the text. Oh, this actually it helps you if you do use it, but since I already know, I don't need to. I don't need to talk to her about anything. Now, if that Paragoomba wasn't there, you could use a little tactic like doing this. Switching your party members, then attacking that, so Mario can reach the... Spike Goomba with this hammer. And it's just still a pretty good thing here because Spike Goombas actually do um, two damage instead of one. So you want to get rid of them before they can attack you. And uh, that was a good way to do it. Also, um, enemies, especially in the early stage, tend to attack the um, front like, player first, so if you have your party member in front, then they'll probably attack them. So that's good to know if you ever need to save up your HP, or if you're running low and you just want to let them take a few hits. This is pretty cool. <laughs> they really take advantage of the paper aspect in these Mario games, or in these Paper Mario games. There is a... this here. A swore. I could have sworn there was like a not a badge. Maybe that's in some... Hmm. Oh, that was in the Super Paper Mario, that's what I'm thinking of. We can go farther in the background and there's like a... Cold badge? Or not, not cold badge, like a... Ice item? I think it is. I don't know. Whatever. We'll find out. Oh, we also got another badge, which I forgot to equip. Um, close call when Mario is in danger causes enemies sometimes to miss, which is very helpful in these um, early stages because we don't have that much HP. It's easier to go into danger mode, which is five HP or less. Pedalberg. Hmm. Hmm. What's up, Koopa? We're in Pedalberg. That's. Sounds like a. Um, this is the little thing that a lot of people have sometimes, um, like, not conspired about, but talked about, like, rumors. This is called Petalburg, a pretty famous city in Pokemon games. Um, and I'll show you later, but there's a few th other things that resemble, um, resemble Pokemon game, so. We'll see. 
more want to speak with me. Oh yeah, he's in like a yeah pink house. Okay, these are called inns. These little things with the beds in front of them. Um, you can use these, but they cost money to use, which is also different from the original game, which you didn't. You could just say, "I want to spend the night." And uh, yeah. Here's a bubble. Top of the morning to side bubble burr. I'm as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. That's cool. Nice to know. Okay, gonna check what time we're at. We're at ten forty. Mayor. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna stop the recording here. Um. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.